everybody, it's Tony here from Fisher Buggies in Tampa, Florida. Uh, we've made a couple videos on trying to help you guys understand some of the basic procedures of working on these engines. Today we're going to cover dual carbs and how to synchronize them. There's a couple different sets of dual carbs. Um, the adjustments are they're, they're alike, but they're different on, on a different set of carbs. But the, the principle's the same. They both open at the same time, feed the carburetors each side of the motor at the same time. That, that's the purpose of synchronizing them. When they're out of sync, they'll pop, they'll skip, um, you'll believe maybe your timing's off, spark plug's foul, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's just a routine, routine maintenance thing that, that you need to keep up with that we're going to show you today. These are the tools we're going to use to synchronize the carbs. This is the Unisync. This is a snail style. It's the easiest and best one to use. There's no adjustment. It just pops right on top of the velocity stacks and measures the amount of volume that the carburetors are drawing at idle. For our linkage, we have our 8 and 10 millimeter wrench, and for our idle stop, which is going to adjust the volume, we have a flat blade screwdriver. Okay, the first step we're going to do is we're going to remove our air cleaner tops and elements from both carburetors. Our next step is going to be to disconnect the linkage rod from the linkage from the carburetor because we want to isolate them. We want them both to be independent whenever we get ready to fire it up and, and measure the volume they're drawing at idle. But before I disconnect this linkage rod, I'm going to break these little lock nuts loose on the rod itself because this rod is left-handed thread or right-handed thread. It's adjustable. I'll adjust it one way, it grows. I'll adjust it the other way, and it shrinks. The rod will get longer or shorter depending on which way I turn the rod. That'll come into play later after we get them adjusted right, then we can put the linkage back on and make them open at the same time. Okay, our next step is to fire it up, and we're going to measure the amount of volume that they're drawing at idle. We've got the linkage disconnected, and they're independent, so they're each going to have an own, their own individual reading until we get them set right. Now, one thing to note is one carburetor is going to be different than the other. They haven't been set up yet. They're going to be different. So what we need to do is bring either one up or one down to match the other one for the RPM that we want. We want around 900 to 1,000 RPM. Um, just for instance, if we have one at 10 and one at 7, if I brought the one from 7 up to 10, we might be around 2,200 RPM. So I might need to bring the 10 down to 7. But we're going to fire it up here and we're going to see where we're at. Now we saw the carburetor on the right side was pulling around 11. The one on the left side was around 9. So what I want to do is I'm going to lower this number down by using the idle stop screw. By coming out, that's going to lower it down. I want to bring that down to 9. I want to match the one on the left hand side. So now I'm going to fire it up and we're going to see what we got. Okay, you heard how it settled down. The idle got nice and smooth once we got up to where it's supposed to be. So now that we got them both balanced independently, we're going to reattach our linkage and we're going to adjust the linkage to where it doesn't push or pull or twist. We just want it to both open at the same exact time. When you barely thump this in the middle, they'll both start to open at the same time. That's what we're going to work on next. Now we've reattached our linkage arm back to the linkage. And like I said earlier, we loosen up our jam nuts on the rod so we can adjust the rod. Now the purpose of adjusting this is so they both open at exactly the same time. We want this one to match that one. As, as I turn it, you can feel when it gets tight and it starts to push on it. As I twist the other way, you can feel when it starts to pull on it. If you see, you can see the arm moving up and down as I adjust this. Right there, it's starting to push. Right there, it's starting to pull. I want it right in the middle to where it's nice and smooth. That's where I'm going to stop and lock it down. Now we got our jam nuts tied on our linkage rod. We 
you got to screw back into the arm. Now we're testing to make sure they both move at exactly the same time with just a little bit of force. They're both moving. You can see both the idle stops. That's what I'm talking about. So from this point, we're good to go. We're ready to fire it up and see how she sounds. Well, that's that. You heard how crisp it sounded. Um, it's nice and responsive. Every little thump you gave it, it was right there. It didn't pop or skip. Um, one wasn't leading the other, so we buttoned it up and put our air clears back on there. And that pretty much wraps it up for today. Just want to say thanks for tuning in with us. Uh, please check us out on our website, uh, www.fisherbuggies.com. we got new parts. We're adding all the time. Uh, if you don't see anything there, please give us a call at the store. We're here Monday through Friday, 9 to 530, Saturday 9 to 3. Uh, you can email us from our website, just general questions. That's what we're here for. So thanks for tuning in.